what you're looking at right now is the altcoin dominance and it is trying to break through this range so this is a daily chart and it just show you how important this can be now when we are zoomed in like this there can be a little bit of clarity issue but i would say this is going to be the biggest wealth building opportunity for next five to ten years or if you are older this is going to be the biggest opportunity in your lifetime so don't miss this because if you go look at what happened here and what's being happening in the market and then you kind of look like okay what is the reality you need the bitcoin dominance to break rsi already broke lower on a weekly and you're trying to break lower and you go look at the macro for the alt market and you see like okay we are at the verge of a breakout now what do we actually need we need the macro to also support us so you go look at the dollar and dollar is slowing down now if you go on a four hour chart of dollar it kind of gives you that narrative so it's literally like one by one things are slowly coming into this direction where we are going for the next big run now you may actually have a lot of doubts is this even possible because everyone is talking about huge downside right great agreed now i would like to make my point here showcasing each and everything which is included in these charts and you can understand and once you understand that you will be literally like okay, okay, okay let me make myself clear i'm gonna make this opportunity and take benefit of what's coming ahead because if xrp repeats what it did based on the patterns it suggests it won't just be the 700x here it would be even bigger now there would be guys who will go completely against that but if you learn from the technicals if your pattern plays out and this is a trend which lasted more than a month and a strong trend you get even larger continuation so based on a lot of different stuff if you come inside this market one thing is for sure you are going to observe something big happening and something big coming in soon welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly now we have a lot of stuff happening and you do have to keep in mind the macro scenario is slowly changing evolving you have different stuffs coming in for different dates we need to actually know what's going to happen all of that's here but at the same time understand big guys big thought process you know they look through for the next three five ten years and they are building because on the other side of this you know people are getting screwed and you see like okay governments are literally like okay let's do some more free money now depending upon which side of the economy you are you would feel this is good or bad right now there are people who are getting screwed just because leaders of that country were not taking the right decisions and if you look at this it, it literally shows like you are trying to kill the economy so that your inflation comes down now let's actually go back into what we were discussing and before that i would like literally like to highlight one thing here if you have time do watch this video there's a ton of information and that's from king solomon shout out to him this is a lot for anyone in the market and especially you are new and you are in new in xrp community this kind of reinforces you like okay, why we are here why we bought this asset it's not just ripple and ripple net they're talking about it's the on-demand liquidity tool which uses xrp ledger and connects xrp and then once this information is being digested by the market and you're seeing this big run coming in you can easily understand or digest that okay if last time with that kind of news the market did this much this time you have way better fundamental news great you're going to do much bigger now let's slowly break these down when you're looking at this yes first time the market came up it got rejected it came down immediately second time the market slowly grinded to the upside tried to break it once got rejected second time break 
You went for one and that was a fake out. You got rejected. Then you made a double top and went back down. Fine. So you corrected slowly to the downside. But if you look at this, it did not actually drop too much and it was making itself inside a consolidation range, which if you look at it positively, if you look at it based on TA, you see like, okay, this is your impulse. You came to the upside all the way from here. So you have a micro wave one, then wave two, and here it's wave three, which is, you know, bigger than wave two, you know. Mm -hmm. But again, if you look at this, that's a big giant bull flag. And if you're breaking through this, technically you'll say like, okay, mm -hmm. usually what happens is this is your post of this flag and that's what you put to the upside. But remember, this is not the price, this is the dominance. So that definitely means you are going to look for something big where the dominance is gonna flow higher. And if that's happening, Keep this clear, if that's happening here, altcoin dominance coming to 80 percentage, meaning on the other side of this, Bitcoin dominance is going lower. Now, historically, the low for Bitcoin dominance is here, 32. Right now, you're breaking 39. So if you drop towards this, do you really believe you are gonna stop here at 32? I personally don't. Why? It's an easy step. You go back here, 2018, you did have a lot of projects. I'm not saying we didn't have, but we have like 1,000, 2,000 crypto projects back then. Right now it's 20,000, it's 10x new projects. I'm not saying all of these projects are valid, all of them are great. I'm saying at least 10 percentage of the market, which is 2,000 coins, would survive and go higher. So in last cycle, it was 2,000 coins and 10% was just 200 coins making the most of it. But this time you have 2,000 coins. So that being there means market is going to take a big share out of Bitcoin. So money is going to actually move out from there and enter somewhere else. Now if you actually go into this and ask that question like, okay, what do you really look at? Can you really understand that there is a possibility? Yes, the RSI is usually a positive indicator which gives you idea way before things happen and it is suggesting you we are going up at a time when the RSI here and the Bitcoin dominance is suggesting we are going down, right? Now, you go back in here and you see like okay, we have the first drop which actually showed you we are going down, then the next one you consolidated, the third one you dropped. But you actually go back here and see like what was the duration of this? run up. Say here, it was really short, it was not that big. And if you actually put that thing into perspective, take a vertical line, put it here, you'll see like, okay, that was like Jan of 2016 where you started that. You moved up and you went up till March of that year. Great. Now we go to the XRP and you take this out and look like, okay, 2016, what happened? XRP literally didn't do anything. If it even if you zoom in to see some kind of fluctuation, you'll still see like, okay, this is where we are talking about Jam 2016 towards March, we didn't do much, right? And at the same time, you go look at like, okay, you wanna look at ETA, you wanna look at various different coins, it's up to you and you'll see like, okay, 2016, Jam to March, these coins went up. You go look at another one, this is Sia coin, you go look at this one. 2016 Jan, it's starting to get momentum as Ether was going through the roof. It started getting moved higher. So the momentum came in and by March, it also topped out. Then it corrected down before the next real big run. Fine. So in the dominance, you see that short time zone. And then this is another range which you need to keep your eyes on. Because you tried this once, twice, third time you faked out even a little higher. But the fourth time you actually broke that and went higher, one of the clear sense there is the price was continuously pushing to the upside. So the market was really pushing to the upside. You got the similar in some of these coins, we know that. And some of the coins are doing that right now, giving you that idea that it is getting into a tight zone and preparing for a big major wave two or wave three, another explosion, great. Now, if you actually come back here, look at what we just discussed for this point, you can realize like, okay, we did that right now inside the market. If you are keeping close eyes on your market, you are like, okay, we tried this once, 
twice and this is the third time we are coming here if you add this one too you got four times we are trying this but this time you are showing you are breaking higher rsi here already broke lower but current dominance is breaking lower and at the same time you get the dollar index highlighting that it may actually drop so on a four hour it's already showing it's slowing down look at the strength reducing look at where the pattern is so you are inside this it's kind of a broadening wedge and you're still showing like okay we don't know the direction even if it's a short correction to the downside like this and move to the upside that duration is actually enough for the market to slowly move higher but if you look at it on a weekly chart for dollar the drop here happens for like you know three months four months and if that's coming in right now for crypto market you know with bitcoin dominance dropping and all coins just breaking through the roof it really means like we have that time now this is not happening today just like that this is happening after around 500 days of consolidation inside one tight range where people were getting frustrated right so we if you waited through that you deserve this if you moved out and you're observing the market this would be one of the right time to get in but if you moved out at the low and the market is slowly you know doing something in different assets you may not actually get that imagine xrp dropped to point one you went up the market imagine xrp dropped to point two five you went out of the market right now it's still not bad you can buy it at three point three two right but once this break higher and you travel higher you may not be able to do that now look at this pattern here you came lower you had one consolidation you went lower you had the second consolidation but you did not actually go down yes it did fake out but you went up so now the question is you go look at the bitcoin and you're asking that question like okay fine here we had one range of consolidation after your downside like this and then the next range of consolidation here so can this be a fake out before you actually go up now i'm not saying bitcoin is going to a million dollars what i'm saying is there is a possibility for this to actually come back and test the thirty thousand range now whether it breaks higher or not we'll have to see what the indicators suggest at that time but right now what really is important is the market is showing you big signals while you were trying to slowly go back up you see all these wicks you were trying to come back down but the market was being pushed back higher so the money is coming back into the all coins and you know certain coins which have a lot of fundamentals the actual utility perspective if you look at them you'll see like okay things are happening and the volume is still there now you're looking at the market in a different way right so if you look at this i would say like okay this is top seven coins great inside that you literally have one stable coin two stable coin three stable coin so you take these out xrp is at the top tier imagine the stc lawsuit is happening all those stuff is still there but you are still here in top 10 and based on the market cap if you are looking at that that means you are in top five but i would say let's look at volume that makes more sense for me then you are still here now take out your stable coins and you're like one two three gone so you are in top five so that's actually not bad now again if you are not an xrp great you have time if you want to get into the market you can go into the smallest cap one in the hundred or the biggest one it's completely up to you but what you have to keep in mind is that yes this will happen as we talk if you're observing like I pointed this one out to my members a little bit back when we were here but as we are talking and i'm th going through this video we can see like we are breaking higher so on the other aisle of this what you are observing is you're going to zoom in on the bitcoin dominance and see like where it is it it is slowing down slowing down slowly going down that does mean like okay there is something happening in the market and that's happening when bitcoin is not doing anything remember it's not going to ten thousand dollar right now falling like a rock it's holding on to one region and at that time when you observe the altcoin market is going up something is happening either people are making different choice they are moving their money out of this anything can happen now you can also look at that too so how do you look at that 
you come here in the demand side of it and you're looking at this. Okay, you are moving, but it's not big. So people are not exiting fiat into fiat from Bitcoin and people are not completely moving into different currencies. But right now what you get is 28,000 Bitcoin is still big numbers moving out and it is down from yesterday. That actually means a lot of people have already made their mind and moved into different assets which they want to. That's why we are observing these stuff. And if you want to see like, okay, where the biggest volume is going to be, if there is no glitch with Ether right now because the merge is happening, you know, all those stuff. Woo! I'm surprised. The merge is coming here. You know, I didn't check it today, actually. And I'm looking at this like, okay, total Ether flow is big, not bad and to fiat exchanges like this people are running out of ether i don't know why maybe that vitalix picture now i don't want to go into detail for that one uh, i don't want to touch on that so here ether to crypto exchange it's 150 percent of job so people running out it's still there but people who are moving into different altcoins are a lot it's increasing so if you are in different altcoins you're looking at the market and trying to make a decision a choice make that i'm not saying you know if you don't make the choice in 30 minutes you lose no you may have time but you need to make the right decision and how do you make the right decision you go through all this and sit aside you know think with free mind it's not like you have to take the decision in 30 minutes right you sit there you look at these and you ask one by one one in the last cycle when the market actually went up, imagine the dominance, what we are talking about. Great. Did your asset respond? So here, this is the biggest wave structure. So what you are looking at is the wave two here, which is the biggest wave. And what you're looking at here is your wave three, which is the smallest wave. Fine. Agreed. Now, when you actually go into that, this time frame is like you know, early March all the way up to June. So when you go into XRP for that time frame, mm -hmm, early March of 2017 towards June, you already topped out in May. So XRP is one of the fastest at the end. <laughs> it does not start when everything else starts. XRP started in March. So now we again go back here and you are looking at like, okay, what's happening? And it actually started here. Late December, early Jan, you started the move early. Feb, you actually got more start, you know, more momentum. XRP was late to the party, but XRP topped out way before others, right? Others topped out here by 12th June, whereas XRP topped out by 15th May. That's almost like a month early. So to get onto XRP, you get more time. Or if you're already in XRP, you need to wait more. But if you are in XRP, you need to take your profit earlier than the other market when you're saying like, okay, other coins are going up. Should I hold it more? If you are getting divergence, if you are getting really, really interesting signals from the market, I would say, consider that. There is like higher highs, big higher highs at the time when the RSI suggests, no, 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 I'm slowing down. Most likely when you're slowing down here, correcting down, these are like three, four weeks. Take your money, get out. Now, even if you drop 70%, you still make much more than this. And even if you sit there, you have time to take more. But, you know, psychologically, it gives you more advantage if you are able to take out in wave two. I'm not talking about the wave one here. I'm talking about the wave two. That's the biggest wave structure. So you go on to ETA. I'm not a big fan of it. But still, if you go on to that one, you still agree that this is the biggest wave. First one, it was there. It was good. It was not bad. But the second one was really interesting because it actually did this massive run. And if you look at it on a logical perspective, you can say like, okay, did I really get the signal from the market we are topping out? Here also, the market actually gave you the same signal. And here you got it multiple times if you wanted to actually accept. Fine. But that's wave two. You still have wave three if you want to. Now, if you say my appetite is this, uh, I don't have more appetite for risk and reward management in the market. Get out if you get, you know, 10, 20, 30 or 50 X of your portfolio. That's one of the greatest points to take your money. And remember this, in general, when you are 5 X your portfolio, take profits. When you are 10 X your portfolio, take profits. And these are numbers which actually comes in the market. For a lot of guys who entered 
after we topped out last year or when we were topping out last year, you haven't seen this. But these are real numbers, big numbers. Same, repeat that 10, 15, 20x. As the market goes crazy, you do take the profits out because you don't want to lose the profit in the market just because you were not prepared. Any asset, let it be you are inside this market, you are looking at these opportunities, you want to capitalize on them. Whether you agree this or not, you first take your time, look at the assets, make your decision. And you know, we're all human beings, we make mistakes. But making a mistake in wave two is the hardest part because you now have to, if you do that, then you have to wait a long period of time for another wave two because now you're talking about wave, the correction after wave two, then the wave three, which is you know comparatively much smaller than wave two, and then a big market, first wave, and then wave two. Because you know, even during the wave one structure here, a lot of people will have hard time because they would have the denial here. Each day you look at the market, you're going up, but you feel like, no, 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 it's gonna go down, right? That will still be there. Now, to actually you know add on to this one, you can actually go on directly and say add the altcoins market cap instead of the dominance. Dominance actually gives you an idea how much money uh, compared to Bitcoin we are actually having, but the market cap shows you how much money is coming into the market, right? Is it actually increasing? Is it actually decreasing? You can say like okay, the Bitcoin is gonna drop heavy and altcoin is gonna hold. Now, usually when Bitcoin drops, altcoin also drops. We know that, we have seen that, right? So when Bitcoin is consolidating, that's when we see altcoins taking off. So saying, okay, altcoins are actually going to start a run here and Bitcoin is gonna drop doesn't actually match. So if we think on the other side of this and say like Bitcoin is gonna consolidate, make a double bottom. Now, you know, in markets, we try to anticipate. Sometimes we are wrong. Maybe more times you're wrong and sometimes you're correct. And that three, now imagine in the 10 times, six times you're wrong, four times you're correct. If that four times you hit big home runs, that's enough. Now, that being said, if you get this correctly and the market goes back up to test this, that's actually a good sign for Bitcoin. And all coins have a lot of room to run with what's happening now in the market. So guys, if you received value for your time, please do hit that like and subscribe button. So we'll meet you on the next video. Bye-bye.